So a few days ago, I was listening to a podcast called Talking Motorcycles. And in that podcast, the host was talking to this couple who basically have a sidecar motorcycle rental business in San Diego, which is really cool. This was a really interesting podcast. It was informative. It was entertaining. But there was a small part in the podcast where Will, the husband in this situation, talks about how he believes that sidecars could actually be perfect for electric motorcycles. So listen to what he says. We were thinking of... You can buy like these old battery packs from um, like Priuses and stuff. And you can like, I was thinking, I had like a future project putting that like in the floor of the That's, side. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like underneath. Yeah, yeah like, like it, a frame almost. Exactly. Essentially build it into the frame, which I think would be great because then you could have the, uh, it add weight, mm -hmm. you know, which would be nice. And then, um, you know. And you'd have a lot more range too, so. Yeah, Remy, that's the thing right now with electric stuff is range. Now they don't spend a bunch of time talking about this, but I really do find this interesting. Not only does the large low battery, like a Prius battery or something like that, really help with just general sidecar problems, specifically the weight in the sidecar. You know, sidecars are notorious for flipping over when you're turning to the right. Like it's very difficult to ride them, especially turning right because of this. So the fact that there is this large piece of machinery with a like sort of large wheelbase attached to the motorcycle really sort of solves the problem of batteries and range in motorcycles. If you've seen Fortnite's video about the problem with electric motorcycles, you'll know what I'm talking about, but essentially range is the problem. If you've watched any serious reviews of electric motorcycles, whether it's zero bikes or the live wire or whatever, the real life range of these bikes is really bad. Like if you're going to go ride and actually have fun and actually like get on the throttle and basically ride a motorcycle the way you want to ride a motorcycle, the range is often half of what it is claimed. So often you're dropping upwards of like $15,000 on a motorcycle that really only has like a 50 mile range or a 60 mile range. And what we need is a solid, consistent, like 200 mile range. Now, if a sidecar is attached to the motorcycle, you now have a place to throw a large capacity battery to potentially double or triple or even more, just really add loads of miles to the range. Now I know what you're thinking, sidecars aren't motorcycles. And in a sense you're right, whether they can be categorized as motorcycles or not isn't the point. They definitely are motorcycles in one sense. It's true though that the experience of riding a sidecar motorcycle is completely different than a traditional non-training wheel motorcycle. And sidecars are relatively dangerous. I'm not sure they're categorically more dangerous than regular motorcycles. They're definitely different though. There's not really any balancing with them besides leaning you know, over so that your sidecar doesn't flip over top of you when you turn sometimes. But again, having a big heavy battery under the sidecar, adding almost another person's weight worth like in the sidecar would make it so that you could up or should consider cranking out an electric sidecar motorcycle and just sort of flex on the entire industry by putting a literal small car battery underneath the thing and repping like a 250 mile range. That would be cool. But Ural is not gonna do that because Ural hasn't even figured out how to make a modern combustion engine like a modern motorcycle that doesn't fall apart, let alone bikes of the future. Okay, wait a second. Apparently Ural is actually doing this. Literally while I was working on this video, I found this page on the Ural site and it looks like they have a prototype for an electric sidecar motorcycle. And it also appears that this prototype will have a 100 mile-ish range. So realistically, probably more like 60 miles, if it's anything like all the other major electric motorcycles, and it does not appear to have a battery under the sidecar. Come on, Ural, if you're out there and you're listening, just go shove another massive battery under the sidecar. Keep the one that's in the motorcycle, that's fine, but do another battery under the sidecar. It'll be safer in the same way Teslas are super safe with their incredible low center of gravity. It'll have way more power and range. Just do it. I'm curious what you you guys think is the concept something that makes sense for all you engineers out there maybe you could explain some of the problems with having a larger battery underneath the sidecar but to me i don't know it seems like it makes sense let us know in the comments below and until next time ride safe